how do you experiment with yourself and cultivate mm -hmm. the manifesto? Yeah, there's a section in that latter part of the book that's really about when you've created your first manifesto, what do you do with it? Yay, super, Charlotte, thanks. Now what? And there's a real variety of ways, depending on your kind of comfort level with sh sharing things with other folks and your desire to implement things right away. So it's, are you on the slow road or are you a little bit more, a little bit more active in your pursuit? They, I mentioned before, there's everything between throwing up your manifesto as your Zoom background. So literally everyone you interact with online has to see it, <laughs> right? And you're going to have a conversation about it with everybody or seeking out somebody who's the kind of more trusted individual to yourself and showing it to them and having conversation with them or doing it together with someone else who wants to experience that kind of journey as well and having a kind of partner to work with. And there's a pretty wide variety of methodologies in the book for doing that. But then the other piece I think that people have found really, really useful. I, sh I shared the Sto project with my colleagues at the D school and asked them, I basically said, this is an open source piece of material. Please take it and run with it. I'd love to see where you find it to be useful. And they've done all sorts of different things. But one of my colleagues who's really spends a lot of time thinking and working on the concept of reflection has a methodology that's really about like how many different kinds of manifestos could you possibly make a couple of weeks just to get the full gamut out there. And she's a, a neurobiologist by training. So <laughs> her experimentation skills are very strong. She's the force is strong with her there. And then other colleagues have taken it and started to use it as a kind of collective making device, right? So if you are working in a team to really get a sense of having people do that, they do the manifesto first themselves, then they create a manifesto as a team. And then they come together with their whole class and make a kind of credo for the class and how they're going to be working with their partners, the teams who then work with external partners, they'll show them this kind of document and be like, let's create a compact amongst ourselves about how we want to work together, right? So it's really being intentional about the methodologies they want to use working together. I guess I would say it's like a really wide gamut about the, the ways in which you could use this. And I really encourage people to take it. And run with it, right? Is that works for you? Like you said, the, what's the vocabulary that suits your situation? Use that, right? <laughs> I'd say <laughs> as long as where you're going towards is getting more clear about what your values are and how they show up in your behaviors in the world, that's the goal, right? That's the ultimate arrival. <laughs> so, 